Hi, my name is Tal Haguda with Cisco Tech. In this video, I would like to share a brief overview of the StarOS CLI on the ASR5500. In this video, I will use SSH to connect to the chassis. Before we begin, it is important to obtain the correct credentials. Be sure to talk to your system administrator or tech lead for more information on obtaining this. So here is our terminal window. We'll go ahead and use SSH to log into the chassis. For privacy concerns, throughout this video, sensitive bits of content will be blurred. Once logged in, we get to our local context. We will talk more about context a little later. For now, we have a lot of different show commands that can display various bits of information. To do this, we can type in show space and hit tab. This will show our different show options that we can output. We can also do show space and a question mark to show that same list, but with a brief overview of what each command does. Let's go ahead and do show version. So if we type in show V and E and hit tab, we'll go ahead and see it autocomplete. If let's say we just did show V and hit tab, it'll pop up three different possible options. If we went ahead and typed in show version and hit enter, we'll see that our version in this case is 21.20.32. In the ASR 5500, we have many cards that work together to support high subscriber traffic. To view these cards, we can type show card table to see the list of cards, what slot they are in, and their operational state. In this case, we see only one card showing up on our virtual demo chassis, but in a production unit, you'll see something like this. This command is very helpful to see the state of each card for troubleshooting. Let's go ahead and show logs, which will print out a lengthy list of events that were logged. In the case that the list keeps going on and on, you can type Control C to break out of the loop. Again, some of this content is having to be blurred due to sensitive information. Often we are searching for a specific instance in the logs. Because StarOS is Linux based, we can use the grep command to filter out the output to only what we need. Let's try inputting grep and using a specific timestamp. So in this case, we'll go ahead and do 2022 April 29th at the time 1546. And we can now see what was logged in during that timestamp. Note that all of this was done in the local context. A context is defined by Cisco as a logical grouping or mapping of configuration parameters that pertain to various physical ports, logical IP interfaces, and services. By default, we load into local context, but we can change context simply by just typing in context and the name of the context, which in this case will be XGW out. This switches the grouping or context that we are interacting with to the outbound X gateway, which is what XGW out stands for. While what was shown today only scraped the surface of what you can do with a CLI, a lot of vital information can be retrieved just by using the show command. For more information, you can always type help in the command line, press the question mark after each command word to get a list of possible pairings and a basic summary of what each one does. You can also refer to the support guide found online under the support section of cisco.com. Thank you for watching.